What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12tutorials and pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. Now today we're going to be looking at a product by Akisonas. It is Regroover, but your boy got a hold of the pro version. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about that. Thanks to the people at Akisonas. Um, this uh, plugin is gas. Olina. Um, if you guys haven't, um, whatever, man, if you guys haven't, if, if you guys haven't seen a video on this, if you didn't, if you weren't on splice when they were, you, when they were giving away this for free, that's, that's how I got the first one. Um, splice was given, uh, regroover the original one away for free. So I picked that up ASAP and, um, it wasn't really something that I used a lot because the, in, in, in my production and the way that this comes, the way that this uh, thing comes build, is it's like it's uh, for um, deconstructing drum loops um, through their custom algorithm. They use the time that a hit occurs along with the frequency to decode. You know whether it's a kick snare or whatever, and they'll you know they'll it'll stem out a drum loop, which is you know which is cool. But I don't you know I wasn't using a lot of drum loops, so uh, typically if I make a video like this, I like to show a problem that it's helped me out with. So. Um, this is going to be a little bit different probably from the other videos you've seen because this don't have, it, it doesn't, I'm not using a drum loop. So I had, to, I had this beat here and, um, I had a problem. So I, my problem was I, I chopped this sample and, um, <clears throat> it was, it, it was pretty dope. It was pretty fire. So check this out. So that sounds dope. And if this was if this was like a boom bap type beat, the um you know the little eighth note um hi hat sleigh bell rhythm that they got going on, that would have been cool. But you know I'm down at 135. I wanted to add some I wanted to add some like some hi hat rolls on top of this kind of trap it out. And when you had when you had that sound. Um, you know, just just beating through the mix, having so much high frequency content, it left me with you know with my with my with my tools. It left me with a couple choices. I could either, um, you know, uh, do like um, do like some mid side processing because the, the that sound occurs on one side of the spectrum, or I could you know use a use a low pass filter. But then I'm getting rid of the thing that I liked about this sample was you know there's so much cool stuff in the highs. I didn't want to filter it. You know, I wanted it to sound. I wanted it to feel like a um you know like a just blaze or like a dip set like trap beat you know how they how their samples they were so like bright and shiny they weren't like really you know dirty rolled off wu-tang type of samples so then i was like all right boom let me try let me just try to run it through regroover pro and see if i could and and, and see if i could get rid of that um see if i could get rid of that um that uh that, that little hi-hat sound so here's the file right here in the pool all right bet so all i did was i went down to i pulled up the plugin and i'm just gonna i'm just gonna pin it right here in studio one I'll go ahead and right click on this locate this file there you are and we'll throw it into the analyzer important note this works good with short samples don't try to throw whole songs in here um okay and so i just soloed through the layers and i wanted to hear you know what we had all right so that's not uh, i want to keep that definitely want to keep that I mean, you can see it. It's right there. <laughs> Whoa, there it is right there. So, bet. So, what I wound up doing... 
was just turn was just turning all three of these off, and this was the, this was the reason why I wanted Pro. So I, I wound up I wound up turning all three of these off, and you can then export. Um, I, I export uh, the layers mix down, and then I wound up with this version of the sample now. as opposed to this version of the sample. So huge difference. And just, and just it, pardon the other processing on it. That's why it doesn't sound the same. I got, I, I have some other effects on it through Neutron and everything. So anyhow, once, um, you know, once I had that, if, if, if we listen to the difference with the, um, with the trap hi hats, especially especially you guys that are starting to get into sampling and you want to you know you want to make something more modern with like a with like a trap vibe, you're gonna run into this problem. So when we let's see, let's mute this sample and we'll do the one with the you know with the loud sleigh bells. They do they just get in the way, right? So without it, we get this. You hear how much more clear the hi hats come out? It sounds like it, it you know, it sounds like it sounds like a you know a more uh, more true to the genre like type of trap beat as far as where the the drums sit in the mix and everything. Um, and I didn't have to sacri I didn't have to sacrifice you know the high frequency content of the guitars or roll off some of the voices or you know make it you know make it sound dusty or anything like that, which is what I was going after. So this is this is for not only for drums. But 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 for the actual you know for actual um just uh just um you know polyphonic material um full samples you can you can really get in there i actually had a like um one cool thing that i did i'm not gonna show it in this video um but uh when i had the demo of this i was um i was remaking a lot of a lot of 90s hip-hop beats and you know you know turning turning them into trap versions for like a mixtape i was working on and i had um it was a mob deep song called eye for an eye and what i was doing is i was as i was extracting the midi with uh with with melodyne and then and then playing you know playing the chord progressions on different virtual instruments to you know have the same have the same patterns of the samples but when i um <laughs> when i ran the sample through through regroover um I, I, t I you know I, I was able to extract the strings and now the strings they had you know artifacts on them um you know audible artifacts because of the algorithm and everything it was it really wasn't meant to take stuff like this out or you know necessarily do it clean but when i added that as a layer to 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 the three other string patches that i was that i was working with and it was just like it used it more as a texture boy that that was awesome so that's another um way that you could go about sampling this as you know if you're into doing interpolations or, or or layering you know this this really opens the door to a lot of cool things so it's definitely it's it's for me um especially you know it's, it's, it's especially with the summer samples like just having this in 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 my toolbox it is completely invaluable um i totally appreciate um the people at um, akisonis for the opportunity to do this um and i definitely think that this is you guys should go check out the demo and and um, see if this works for your workflow, man. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Production Studio One Tutorials.com. Keep it simple, don't be basic. And we will see you on the next one.